to go by Big Easy getting towed. <laughs> oh, man. Who says gold wings don't break down? Hey everybody, Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. Oh, having a bad day already. I was supposed to be going out to meet with Purple on 3 and PSP Tommy G. They are all the way in California and looked us up through Tony Reno and Cake. Cake is not here, she's in San Diego on a girl's trip. And I got hold of Tony Reno, he told me he was trying to look me up. Got a hold of him, we set everything up. We was gonna bring him on a beautiful ride today. Got up early to go gas up. As you can see, I'm at the gas pump now. I was here complaining about the gas prices and went to start the bike and click, nothing. Click, no lights, no anything came out. So I checked my battery and loosened everything, put it back together. Click, lights came on, went off. Battery problems, not starting. So the name of this video is, <laughs> who says gold wings don't break down? <laughs> I just try to make light of the situation because look like I might miss taking them on a beautiful ride that I had planned for these guys today. Uh, already contact them so they know what's going on. And we're supposed to bring go over to Golden Gate Bridge, ride a little bit of PCH, come inland when it's, where it is going to be nice and warm, bring them on some fantastic roads. And Big Easy don't want to go. So. As I stand here, just got off the line with the tow services. They are coming, and it's kind of a weird thing. I'm less than five miles from my house. So they're going to tow it back to the house, and hopefully I can run somewhere and get a new battery. Now, this is the original battery that came with the bike. But the problem is today is Monday. All the power sports are closed on Monday. Or maybe I'll go take care of the kick battery on that bike just so I can ride today. I know she has a new battery that she got about four years ago. Oh, matter of fact, she got it from AutoZone. I went to get it for her. So if there's an AutoZone open, hopefully they have a motorcycle battery that I can get until I get a more powerful battery because we're about to go on the road and I can't have this happening while I am on the road. Anyway, um, I'll keep you guys updated when the tow come and I'm just waiting for them to text me with the ETA on a tow. And look. Okay, for all you gold wing owners who getting upset because I said, who says gold wings don't break down? This is officially not a breakdown. It's just maintenance. Not checking my battery. Uh, never had a problem with it. And I've never heard of anybody have to change their battery after six, seven years. But I heard it, maybe I did, I did hear it once before. Lady behind me talking. But it's not an engine breakdown, I, that's, I'm grateful for that. So anyway, I'll let you know what's going on. And hopefully I can make that ride because I was planning on recording the entire ride We're meeting with Purple on 3. I am so excited, talked to them last night. I was so excited that they were here and, and really wanted to meet and go on a ride or have lunch or whatever the case may be. I just had a beautiful ride planned for them today. Okay, after three hours wait, one tow truck came and said we don't do motorcycles. And now there's the All-American Tow Motorcycle Lift. We have to bring the motorcycle around, get it on that. And we are gone. Having to tow the house, fortunately, I'm only um, less than a mile from the house. But, it is what it is. My daughter came here to keep my company, so go back home, test the battery, put cake battery in the bike, then go get a new battery, and hopefully I can catch up with Purple on Tree and Tommy G tomorrow. Otherwise, I know they're probably on the road having a good time right now. Anyway, let me get this bike up here. Yeah, they go by Big Easy getting towed. <laughs> oh, man. Motorcycle tour, all American. Oh man, guess it wasn't meant for me to ride today. So, like I said, we left in five miles from the house. 
go test the battery. Probably got to purchase a new one. But just want to bring you guys this. Take a good look at it. Because not too often you see a gold wing get towed. But the best thing, it's not the engine. But we're about to go on this long vacation again. Got to make sure this thing in tip top condition. Everything good except obviously the battery. So when I get home, do the battery and do checks on everything. And see how it goes. Alright. Catch back up to when we unload it. Alright. Made it to the house. Now we gotta get it backed up in his own little parking spot. And and get down to business. Make sure I get this thing back on the road. We got a lot more videos for y'all. All right, gotta take it down. Here we are the next day. I am about to go to my battery. Just got a phone call and a text that the battery is ready. I'm not gonna bore you with installation. I actually turned the bike around because I could see better on the other side with my light. Actually better than with the sunlight coming in my garage. I ordered a battery because no store that I called or went to had any batteries for the Goldwing. But one store told me they can have it in at 8.30 the next day, which is today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now it is 11 o'clock, so three hours late. And I'm going there, and I know they do veterans discount. Go ahead and get my discount. Like I said, I'm not going to bore you with the installation of the battery on a Gold Wing, because if you don't drive or ride a Gold Wing, guess it won't matter. It's pretty simple, easy to do. Let me get back outside and get on the road. I mean, you know, I could have got a jump and got the bike back home, but it is what it is. You know, another thing I want to say is it is absolute torture when you can't ride your bike. That's the difference between can't ride and not going on a ride. If I'm not going on a ride, not a big deal. I feel like I need to ride, I just jump on a bike and go. But when you can't ride, oh man, it's torture. It only been 24 hours and I was just, well, I'm more upset that I couldn't actually go out and meet with the people I wanted to meet with, with uh, PSP Tommy G and his wife, Purple On Three. All this was set up and it was out in California and I missed a beautiful opportunity to meet with people. You know, that's the greatest thing about and we're going on the road soon. That's the greatest thing about going on the road is actually meeting people outside of the stuff that we always do. Anyway, let me go get my battery. Okay, I am finally back on the bike. Got my new battery that I actually picked up yesterday from AutoZone and I wind up getting the Duralass Gold. I know there's many batteries I could have gotten, but they told me that one was coming in the next day. So I went up yesterday, picked it up around, actually came in around 11.30, maybe 12 o'clock. By the time I got back home, it was like 3.30, installed the battery and got my butt kicked installing a battery. As simple as it is to install on a gold wing, I just could not reach the screw to loosen the bracket that holds the battery in. I actually had to take the seat off to get to the battery, which never happened before, so I don't know why it was so difficult this time. Now, this is only my first time changing my batter battery, but I've taken a battery out before, so I don't know why it was such a difficult time doing it this time. Anyway, I was just heartbroken, bike down, you know, going through torture, not being able to ride. I mean, not riding and not being able to ride is two different things. I was just like, oh man, this is, this is horrible. Oh man, I can't ride. And not to mention, like I said earlier, I was supposed to meet with, woo, bump, knock me off my seat. I was supposed to meet with Purple on 3 and PSP Tommy G, because they're in California, touring the country right now, out on their vacation. And I wanted so bad to meet with them and ride. And I couldn't. 
So when we go out on our vacation this year, we're in your area, we're gonna look you up. But now I'm back here riding a, uh, I wouldn't call it hard twisties, but some curves not too far from our house just to get some riding in. You know, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I was, I was going through torture. I can't, I can't express it so much how happy I'm back on the bike, the gold wing. But let me go to our jacket up, going a little bit too slow for my, my own good. But you know what? I am going to, yeah, I'm going to park a lot and get a workout on. You know, I, I call my parking lot practice workouts also. You know, like when, well, I actually only call them workout when I plan to go out and be out there for about an hour or so if I'm not going anywhere that day. But you know, like when you, whatever you do to stay fit, whether you hit the gym and work out, uh, walk, jog, bicycle, whatever the case may be, you're feeling good after your workout, that's me in a parking lot <laughs> on a motorcycle. Go out, do my workout, feel good. And everything I do in a parking lot and slow skill maneuver is relative to what and how I ride. So let me go ahead and finish concentrating on this back road, you know, get my ride in. And you know, I'm saying, you know, I'm saying, YouTube family. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's a good one coming up. Those chevrons. If you haven't seen the chevron videos, how to read chevrons, all the twisted, make sure you check out my chevron video. It's just another tool to help you read the twisties. Anyway, let me cut off. But if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace. Back in the saddle, baby. Woohoo!